The big story, of course, is still your guy, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, it's funny because I told you guys yesterday he wasn't going to announce anything. What? Uh, oh, no, no, uh, no. You guys sat there like, Stop. oh, oh my God. he's going to announce it. Oh, my God. The league actually opens up for business officially at 4 o'clock today. Aaron Rodgers is apparently doing an interview at 1 o'clock today. I was of the belief when I went to bed last night that Aaron Rodgers was going to announce today at 1 o'clock he's either retiring, going back to Green Bay, or playing for my Jets. I'm now starting to think he's not going to answer the question, no. and he's just going to wait. Because until he signs with the Jets, the Jets still have to do everything he wants. Once he signs the contract, the Jets can then say no. We're not going out and getting Mercedes Benz to be our 39-year-old tight end off of one catch last year. And it's one of those things where if he doesn't sign, he can still make all these requests. And you have to kind of suck it up and say yes because you're desperate to get him. Once she's pregnant, that's it. It's a wrap because she's pregnant. And that, in, that my relation to that, of course, is that once he agrees to be a Jet, the Jets can then say, look, we're not bringing in a 39-year-old tight end who had one catch last year, no? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. Again, like I said in the open when we did the headlines, I commend him for standing up. Commend him? I, I do. <laughs> Think <laughs> about it. <for> holding <laughs> Hold everybody on. Hold hostage. On. Hold on. Because if you are Alan Lazard, who the Jets Got did $44 sign. $44 million. For 44 by the million. way. He would have been a good signing regardless. Yep. He's 27 years old. He would have been good, a good signing, but I doubt if the Jets would have went out and got Allen. Okay, I, I can accept uh, that. So, Mercedes Lewis, Randall Cobb, if you're one of these guys, OBJ was on the list. Let's, right. Like, if you're one of these guys and you have Aaron Rodgers, who you know has power, who has pretty much all the cards in his hand, and he's dealing your name, like – you got to appreciate that. And we did you ever about- recruit a guy to play ball with you, or did you ever get recruited, like, if a guy knew your contract was coming up, were, were there guys whispering, yo, sign uh, Kenny, sign uh, Kenny? Uh, back then it was a lot different in, in the game of basketball. You know, I went in, in the lead in 91. Right. So it, it, we didn't have that much control. You played where you got drafted, and that was that. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's not like today and, where you just, like, you, can, you wake up in a bad mood, you demand to be traded, yeah, and they absolutely. just say yes, right? It's a lot different. It is. Yeah. That's a fair point. It's generationally, it is a lot yes. different. Listen, I, I love the fact that he wants his guys to get paid. Yeah. Lazard was going to get a good contract he no matter gonna, what. Because yes. he's a 27-year-old guy who's 6'5". I mean, you yeah. talked about it yesterday. Mm-hmm. He was going to get that kind of money wherever he went. Uh, what I don't understand is... Uh, I learned a valuable lesson in life a number of years ago. You can either die on your feet or live on your knees. I'm going to die on my feet. The New York Jets are going to live on their knees. Yes, they are. Uh, With Aaron Rodgers. He's never thrown a single pass for the New York Jets. And I don't want to say he's making demands because it was not positioned that way. Mm -hmm. But he's also not saying yes. And to me, that means that he really doesn't want to be a Jet. Now, at the end of the day, that probably doesn't mean anything. If he puts the uniform on, he's going to play his best. Yeah. That's what you guys all do. Mm-hmm. But if he wanted to be a Jet, he'd already be a Jet. The fact that he's now saying to the Jets, I want this guy. I'd like you to go get that guy. Mm-hmm. I want you to go look at this guy. Tells me that he has not yet decided he really wants to be a Jet. Right? Yeah. He's just uh, he's he, he's controlling everything. He is controlling every he is but, controlling everything. But I it's not necessarily that he doesn't want to be a Jet. I think it has a lot more to do with he wants to take this this next step in his career with guys that he's comfortable with, with guys that he has some familiarity with. I get it. We all expect him to just go. If you if you commit to a team, just yeah, go. Yeah. I, so yeah. here's what's funny about that. I agree with you. But here's what's ironic about that. All we've heard for the last couple of years out of Aaron Rodgers, or attributed at least to Aaron Rodgers, is that he doesn't like the talent that the Green Bay Packers have put around him. Now he wants to take that lack of talent <laughs> and put it around him with the New York Jets. Yeah. Here's the kick. Like, what are we talking I don't, about? I don't even think it's about the talent. It's about the relationship that he has with these guys. Like, he has, a, 
He and Randall Cobb are best friends. Okay. Mercedes Lewis, he has a fantastic relationship with him. Alan Lazard, he has a great relationship with him. Yes. Like, the only guy. By the way, I, you've got all those guys in Green Bay. You do. So why are you yeah. leaving Green Bay? You could stay right there with yeah. all your friends. Because yeah. relationships have been fractured. Oh, come on. He's not he, a nine-year-old boy going to summer camp for the first time. What are we talking just, about? I'm just calling the fact. But this Which, is the thing. He, he doesn't like the town in Green Bay, and now he's telling the Jets, bring the Green Bay town to New York. Yeah. Bring, no, bring my you friends. You can stay yeah. right there. <laughs> bring, bring my friends. Bring my buddies with yeah, me. Yeah, so tell yeah. Green Bay, keep those guys on the Packers uh, roster. He did it last year with uh, Cobb. That's the only reason Cobb came back to Green Bay. Uh, correct. Uh, yeah. So it's just it's, it's so maddeningly confusing. Well, well, well just, because <laughs> you're complaining that the Green Bay Packers yeah. have surrounding your town. Now you're telling the New York Jets, bring the talent I don't like yeah. to New York. And by the way, uh -huh. Mercedes Lewis isn't better than Uzama. He's not. No, He's I'm just not. You, so now we're going to get less talent to make Aaron Rodgers happy because he's a little child I don't know. who needs to be surrounded by his <laughs> friends. Let me tell you what takes place of that. Hot strippers from New Jersey what? will make you feel at home. You don't need your friends around. Just go there. He's dating a billionaire's daughter right okay? now. Okay. Who, who, by the way, went to Princeton. Yes. Yeah. Tell her to come back home. <laughs> All good. Yeah, Craig, yeah. Right? I think you're missing out what Aaron Rodgers is actually doing. You just mentioned all the Green Bay talent that he didn't like playing with. He's just getting them out of Green Bay so he can go back to Green Bay. Did you think about this that? This whole thing's a mess. It's Letting a one horse. guy hold everybody hostage. And you're probably right. He ain't going to say anything today. And we're going to go through another 24-hour period which, of this crap. Which, 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 which is what which, I told you yesterday. Which brings me to the point of yesterday. Well, Let's was, reverse back. Yeah, huh? reverse all like, you Like, you did not say he wasn't going to sign. You did not tell us. Nope. That was Cody and myself yes. was it? that answered the question huh. that you delivered. Huh. Is Aaron Rodgers going to sign? No. And you said, you yeah. guys are idiots. Direct quote. You said well, we okay. were idiots. So th those things can be mutually exclusive, can you, they not? Should, <laughs> you guys are idiots. Can you please apologize? And I was wrong. <laughs> can you please apologize? Uh, I'm so sorry, Thank Greg. You. Thank you. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.